Hello everybody, this is June coming at you again, the LSE external gr group. Okay, I wanted to talk about the summation symbol. This symbol drove me crazy for the longest time. I could never understand or figure out this dang symbol. Uh, it's a miracle I passed my math classes. Okay, anyways, let's look at the summation symbol. So, the upper limit. Let's see what the upper limit means. How far you go in your uh, computation or calculation, whatever. The lower limit is where you start from. So how far you go, where you start from, and the formula. So what formula will you use to do that? So let's look at this example here. As you can see, the upper limit, or how far you go, is 5. Where you start from is 1, right? And the formula is 2x squared, so you don't have to I'm hoping you guys know the Bodma rule, okay? that much I know so meaning what you do first you know which calculations you do first etc etc so if you look here 2 times 1 squared 2 times 2 squared all the way up to 2 times 5 squared so the lower limit is 1 the upper limit is 5 so you start from 1 and you go up to 5 and you plug in the formula of 2x squared so as you can see this person in our example worked everything out for us so that's 110 and also as the testers or our math teachers would say show your work or I'm sorry in the English vernacular <laughs> show your workings right show your workings okay in America they say show your work okay now let's look at a second example here okay upper limit is 6 k equals 2 so this person used k instead of n okay I like n better but heck different strokes for different folks right and the formula is k squared so we go up to 6 and we start at 2 so that means k equals 2 so we fill in the k right so 2 squared 3 squared 4 squared 5 squared 6 squared equals 90 okay but this person didn't show their working, right? Or they didn't show their work. So 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 equals 90. So they should have shown that. Well, I hope this uh, helped you out. But let me give you a basic uh, suggestion here. There's a book that I uploaded on Scribd. I opened a universal account where anybody can log in so that if you want to download certain documents, you don't have to log in. You could just download. You don't have to register. Just log in and download. Okay, so this Mike Rosser basic mathematics for economists, in my opinion, is um, a little bit easier. Uh, the explanation is a lot better than mathematics for econ economics and finance that our Maths One recommends. But hey, I guess someone's getting the commission, eh? Well, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or send me an email. And if there's something else you'd like to see, please send an email okay and as I start figuring this math thing out I'll put up more tutorials as I as I'm learning okay uh, because a lot of these maths in my opinion they assume we know a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to explain it as as how I learned it and how I remember the concept so happy studying you guys see you later